Oh, you only live once. That's the motto. YOLO. That's what my man Zach Levine is feeling right now. What did I say? What did I fucking say? You guys were trying to tell me Zach Levine was worth the max. Bulls were excited about paying him the max. Tristan, he's not leaving. He will never leave Chicago. He loves it here. He didn't sell his mansion because he was going to another city. He was selling his mansion to get a new mansion here in Chicago. Tristan, be nice to us. No. No. He's leaving. He's gone. Remember, I told you guys. That's exactly what's happening. Now the news is Zach Levine is going to, one, be undergoing a scope on his left knee that has been bugging him for most of the last season. Rot row. Rot row. Another scope to the knee right before you have a max extension contract offer. Talk. Chose to forego, forego surgery, which was big dumb. You should have done that months ago so that we know at least, like, what's happening with it. Anyway. Chose to forgo surgery, and now this procedure, just a tiny bit concerning because it's on the same knee that he tore the ACL on. Sources say, no structural damage. I do not care. That is a big yikes. Big news, though, the real big news is that Zach has told, I want to say the athletic, I am going to enjoy all of the pleasures and leisures of free agency. All of the things that free agency affords me, why me, dine me. Pay me, sway me. Show me clipboards. Show me PowerPoints. Tell me you love me. I've never had that before. I had to be a a restricted free agent. Like Sacramento had to offer me this deal, and then you had to match it, but you really didn't want to. And now it's time for me to test every team. The free agent waters fully. And Chicago's like, I don't know. (laughs) We might treat you like a restricted free agent again. See what you can get out there. And there's a big reason that this should not come as a surprise, folks. And its name, his name, is is Rich Paul. Rich Paul gets his boys money, man. If you are not Nerland's Noel, you get paid. This is what Zach said. I think they're going to put a lot of things on the table. And that's not going to be really for me to go in and argue with them for. Hell yeah. I think that's what Rich and AK get to discuss. Obviously, that's Arturis Karnasovas. Uh, GM of the Bulls. Obviously, I've proven myself in this league and who I am as a player and your durability concerns. And I think that's what I have him on my behalf for is to represent me and have these talks. This is a business. Everybody's going to try and take advantage of everybody at a certain point going into negotiations, but I'm glad I get to view it from afar. He's looking at free agency, folks. Who do the tea leaves say wants him? First and foremost, trailblazers. Insert cricket sounds. It's terrible. That's just not happening. We've already seen CJ and Dame. I don't need to see Zach Levine and Dame to know this shit's not going to work. Like, we have to, at some point, renounce Nurk for this thing to happen. It's just going to be Dame and and Zach Levine, two one, one-sided players, one-way players. All they do is get buckets, and they get, like, get you 40, give up 50. And we now it's a shell. Oh, that's just not happening. I'll, I'll leave you with this part. Would you rather have Josh Hart for $13 million or Zach Levine for $38 million? I, I mean, take the time. Take the time. I'll wait. Because for me, it's a simple decision. I, we're keeping Josh Hart. Josh Hart can rebound. Josh Hart can defend. Josh Hart can pass. Josh Hart can defend players. He can also drop 49 on the Wizards. That man can also get buckets. Do not sleep on Josh Hart. The other probable landing spot is... The Lakers. <laughs> That's what they're saying, at least. Delusional. People feel that they can find a way to make this contract fit. I don't see it. If they're going to have Alex Caruso walk over a paltry few million dollars a year over the luxury tax, you think they're going to take on Zach Levine's contract? What? What? They're going to they gonna trade Russell Westbrook for Zach Levine? So the question is, what is Zach Levine worth on the open market? And are the Bulls willing to take that and pay that? Or if they say, all right, uh, Zach, you do that. We'll work out a sign and trade and you can go the hell somewhere else. My gut tells me no. And Levine's going to be playing for a different team in a different city next year.